Hong Kong born Richard wears a mask to protect him from the coronavirus and to conceal his identity. The 22 year old is afraid of what could come next after taking part in last year's protests. It's very dangerous for us, like the youngsters, to expose ourselves. Even when we're speaking in restaurants, someone could overhear you and just report it to the police. For young people like Richard, the identity of their generation was forged in the Hong Kong protests. What began as peaceful mass marches against an extradition bill turned into an angry crusade against the government over China's tightening grip on the city. Since the handover, people in Hong Kong have used a metaphor of a boiling frog to describe a gradual erosion of rights and freedoms. The thinking is, throw a frog in a boiling water, it jumps out. But if you slowly bring it to a boil, the frog is cooked. And for many people here, the temperature of the water is certainly getting hotter. And now, a new national security law has dramatically turned up the temperature. So they decided just, you know, straight up put us in the oven and just cook us. The law will curb secession, subversion of state power, terrorism, and colluding with foreign forces. Beijing and the Hong Kong government argue the law is necessary to fill a security loophole. But Hong Kongers have mixed feelings toward the legislation. We will have less and less freedom because uh, the law of security doesn't mean that we are really secure. It's actually quite uh, affect our freedom. So I think it's like, personally, I think it's quite uh, negative. This law can keep Hong Kong safe. That's what I, I think. The Hong Kong government says ordinary Hong Kongers need not fear the new law. In May, the city's second highest ranking official told CNN it will bring stability. 99.99% of the Hong Kong population will not be affected. They go about their lives to continue the investment in Hong Kong. Some business leaders have pledged support for the new legislation. And Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam says opponents of the law are the enemy of the people. But critics say it undermines Hong Kong's autonomy. The law would allow Hong Kong's chief executive to handpick which judges hear national security cases. It would also allow Beijing to override Hong Kong's independent legal system. There has already been international pushback. The Trump administration has moved to end the special trade status of Hong Kong. The British government says it will offer a citizenship path for almost 3 million Hong Kong residents. It's a path many Hong Kongers may choose to take. With Hong Kong police taking a zero-tolerance approach to protests and those involved facing far more serious charges, after the law, the cost of rebellion may be too high. If the situation goes really bad, then I'll leave. Where will you go? Uh, I'll probably head to Europe, I guess, where, you know, anywhere with freedom. I don't feel free in Hong Kong. As a generation shaped by protest is forced into retreat. Christy Lustout, CNN, Hong Kong.